A great surprise was awaiting students who started their courses in the academic year 1820-21. In the western part of the courtyard of the Kazimierzowski Palace, there was a new school of fine arts. It was Stanisław Kostka-Potocki, the great connoisseur of art, who contributed towards the establishment of this school. Stanisław Kostka-Potocki was the head of the Chamber of Education in the Duchy of Warsaw. This is a man that personifies both administrative modernization and cultural modernization. The founding father was Stanisław Kostka-Potocki, Minister of Education. It concerns mainly the Department of Fine Arts. The fact that this building for a school of art was built, which now houses the Historical Institute, is evidence of this particular commitment of Minister Potocki. The Department of Fine Arts was the first authentic school of art in Warsaw. But that was not all. This monumental edifice soon became the first public museum on Polish soil. The ground floor was occupied by a harmonious column hall. It was decorated with plaster casts, copies of the most renowned works of the ancient artists, meticulously collected by King Stanisław August Poniatowski. Bearing in mind the interest of Stanisław Kostka Potocki, Minister of Education, such a collection was not a surprise. Stanisław Kostka-Potocki, perhaps the greatest European in this group, formally graduated only from the Collegium Nobilium. However, later he travelled all over Italy, so much that it can be regarded as a continuation of his studies in Italy. The author of the Polish Winkelmann continued his art education throughout his life. In many situations, he was better read than the famous German scholar. Potocki was richer by all this. He was also richer than Winkelmann in terms of his prodigious visual memory, which he built up not only during his trips to Italy, he made seven such trips, but Winkelmann also knew Italy very well, but also to France, Germany, Austria. Potocki knew practically all the great museums of Europe. He knew Paris very well, and in Paris, in particular, the revolutionary Napoleonic Louvre, the most splendid museum of all time. And when he wrote his own Winkelmann, paying tribute to the master, towards whom he also felt a certain distance, because he did not share all his views. He was much richer, having read all those books that Winkelmann simply could not have read. The great intellectualist and patron wished to bring this experience to the University of Warsaw. In order to do so, Stanisław Kostka-Potocki and his wife Aleksandra Lubomirska donated to the university dozens of plaster casts purchased in Dresden and more than 5,000 prints from their own collection. The column hall also provoked an understandable wonder. It was built according to a design ordered by Potocki in about 1780, which was a result of cooperation with the Italian artist Giuseppe Manocchi. Here, the students could improve their manual skills, observing closely each detail of the perfect ancient sculptures. Apart from the column hall, there were also two painting studios and rooms where the students had classes in sculpting, engraving and architecture.
Here, the pictures made by the university painter professors were displayed. Here, the Polish national art and modern artistic culture of Warsaw was born. <laughs>